In a far-off land, the Lord will show himself to them. He will say to them, I have loved you with an everlasting love. That is why I have continued to be faithful to you. The prophet Jeremiah chapter 31 verse 3. Sometimes the Lord Jesus tells his church his love thoughts. He does not think it enough behind her back to tell it, but in her very presence he says, You are all fair, my love. It is true this is not his ordinary method. He is a wise lover and knows well when to keep back the intimation of love and when to let it out. But there are times when he will make no secret of it, times when he will put it beyond all dispute in the souls of his people. The Holy Spirit is often pleased in a most gracious manner to witness with our spirits the love of Jesus. He takes the things of Christ and reveals them to us. No voice is heard from the clouds and no vision is seen in the night. But we have a witness more sure than either of these. Were an angel to fly from heaven and inform the saint personally of the Saviour's love to him, the evidence would not be one whit more satisfactory than that which is born in their heart by the Holy Spirit. Ask those of the Lord's people who have lived the nearest to the gates of heaven, and they will tell you that they have had seasons when the love of Christ toward them has been something so clear and sure they would no more doubt it than they could question their own existence. Yes, dear brothers and sisters, you and I have had times of refreshing from the presence of the Lord, and then our faith has mounted the utmost heights of assurance. We have had confidence to lean our heads upon the chest of our Lord, and we have no more questioned our Master's affection to us than John did when in that blessed posture. Indeed, nor so much as for the dark question, Lord, is it I that shall betray you, that has been put far from us? He has kissed us with the kisses of his mouth, killing our doubts by the closeness of his warm and tender embrace. His love has been sweeter than any wine to our souls. Amen.